Tonight we're looking for Carson Wandering Skipper. We're just outside of Carson City by the Carson River. We're me and Lara Enders to look at this rare butterfly that its habitat or its range goes from uh, about here as far north as Honey Lake. We are the Reno U.S. Fish and Wildlife Office, and we're traveling across California and Nevada's Great Basin to visit unique and rare species. Come along with us as we explore what's out here. go. So you have the Carson Range right here. Um, just behind the Carson Range is Lake Tahoe, then the Sierra Nevadas. We're on the other side of that. Hi, I found one here. He just in the, he's in the back. There's flowers. Uh, he's on the back side of those flowers, like 10 feet out. The species is the alkali skipper. And so what we're looking for here today is Carson Wandering Skipper, which is a subspecies. So there's a whole class of skippers called grass feeding, grass feeding skippers, and this is one within that. Um, but this one's based on its um, characteristics and that I think it's actually one of the more beautiful ones. So the upper side is basically plain orange with a little black margin and then some white fringe on the outside. And most of the other grass skippers, especially around here, have a lot more markings like on the top side. So what are we looking for here uh, besides a cloud of mosquitoes? <laughs> a cloud of mosquitoes is pretty awesome. Um, so the yellow nectar over there is a aster called crepus. And so that's the main nectar that the, there's two different plants here that we find Carson Wonder Skipper on. So that's one of them. That's a native one. So it's really great this year. There's a lot more of it than there was last year. So it's nice to see the native nectar um, in really health, healthy. So that's where it's easiest to find the butterflies flying around on, is on nectar. As when you were over there and you saw mm -hmm. them, they kind of bop around and they blend in, and it's almost when they move and land a lot that they're easy to find. So when I'm doing my surveys out here, kind of scanning all the nectar. Part of the thing that's really interesting about Carson Wandering Skipper is that it's only found in a few locations, yet the habitat that it uses is found elsewhere as well, and we'll find those other grass skippers there also. So it's pretty cool in terms of what is it that this butterfly is selecting for that other species are almost more generalist about. This one seems to be very specialized in terms of the locations it's found. You know, since we've known about this butterfly, there's been five locations total, mm -hmm. basically from here north to Honey Lake. Um, two of those sites have been extirpated, but there's a lot of other areas with salt grass, with nectar, but we don't find Carson Wandering Skipper, and we don't really know why. In the Sparks area was a housing development. Came in, the, the site was, was um, unfortunately it was destroyed due to the housing development. We found another population kind of right next door, but then again, after just a couple of years, that one petered out, and again, with that new housing development came, coming in, it really changed the hydrology of the remaining habitat, and um, yeah, so that one was extirpated as well. In addition to all the threats, is just when you have really small populations that cover small areas and you only have a few populations, you don't have a lot of room for those, you know, we use the term stochastic events, right? So random things. Here, flooding is a good stochastic event that happens, you know, naturally. And if this is, the butterflies are healthy, you know, the population here is healthy and robust, it can probably handle that natural variation. But when you start to get other things like weeds, tall white top that whole area up there is all tall white top <laughs> so invasive weeds at this site is a big concern we have a, a fuels treatment um, that we're looking at potentially doing this fall to help mm -hmm. with some of the um, vegetation that's um, a lot thicker kind of lack of a better word than it had been in the past the skippers like it much more open than it is up there um, the fuels treatment being referenced is talking about using goats for grazing the idea being that they'll trim down the vegetation and open up more habitat for Carson Wandering Skipper. I know you have a history. You worked with yeah. your sister on yeah. Carson Wandering Skipper. Yeah, 20, 22 years ago was the first time I saw them. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I'll start. 
I should totally start crying right now. I attribute a ton to my sister. Like, when we were little, we'd go out and play in the woods together. And I just followed her around. She's, you know, five years older than me. And um, so I think I've always just enjoyed the outdoor world. And then, I, yeah, I worked with her in 2001 doing surveys um, for a bunch of rare species across Nevada. And so that was my real introduction to Nevada and butterflies. I do call them the charismatic microfauna because you have your bears, you have your wolves, you have your fish that are super cool. And I think butterflies definitely, you know, they're small and their attention to detail and they're found in these super cool little spots. And once you find them, there can be tons. It's actually pretty quiet out here today, but there's days where it's just bopping with the butterflies and the bees and the flies and spiders and all sorts of other stuff. And something that the public can do is it good for people to like get out and just be talking about like, hey, did you know Carson wandering skipper is a thing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's always, oh, what's the quote? Um, the more, oh, there's a version of it on my kid's daycare wall. Um, something about like the more you know, like the more you know of something, the more you understand it, the more you love it or something like that, right? So it's, there's so much in our world in terms of, you're just unaware of right and so to become passionate about it and I think so a lot of that is just getting folks out there and excited about you know nature watching or any of that kind of stuff for folks you know there's a group of folks who do that and there's a lot of folks who you know just kind of stick to the paved streets a lot more because that's the world they've they've grown up in but I think having that exposure and those conversations can always be really good and a lot of those bigger conversations to um, make folks aware and it kind of comes into a lot of the bigger conservation conversations for this narrow ranging endemic or for other ones you know those bigger picture changes help at the local scale too we were lucky enough to see a car wandering skipper while joining lara on her surveys these tiny orange butterflies are hard to spot but they are beautiful it is a good reminder to appreciate the tiny details that make up our world although rare and endangered remember it's out here